Morning, Janet. Morning, Sarah. How was your weekend? It was really good. How was your weekend, Rick? We went to the island. Excuse me, sir. Check your bag here, please. An active, deadly threat situation is very rare, but you still need to be prepared. The unthinkable is happening. What do you do? Was that a gun? Let me call the lobby. First of all, you don't have a lot of time. Although police response time is measured in minutes, a lot can happen before we get there. No answer. We gotta get out of here. Well, let me just get my purse. No, we don't have time. But there's also a lot you can do. Number one, run, escape. Evaluate your options. Choose an exit where you're unlikely to encounter the assailant and that is safe to use. That door leads to the alley. Let's go. It's important to understand your environment so you know the best way to get out safely. If there's a safe way out, run. Don't finish what you're doing. Don't take anything. Just run. Sounds safe. Let's go. When you're safe, call 911. Please. There's a guy in our when you call into 911, there'll be a series of questions the call taker is going to ask you. The first and most important is, what is the address or location where the incident is occurring, as well as where are you in relation to that? They will ask you how many assailants there are, how many shooters are there? if you can see know. or hear any of the weapons being used, I think I heard seven shots. and if so, what kind and how many. They will also ask you if there's any injuries. Have you seen him? Uh, I, I didn't see him, we just ran. All right, how many people have been shot? There will be more questions to follow depending on the circumstances. Getting clear of the situation is by far your best option. Remember, leave your belongings behind, help others to escape, but go even if others don't agree to go with you and call 911 when you are safe. Once you're clear, stop others from entering the area. All right, just stay on the line. We've dispatched the police. Are you somewhere safe? Yes, we are. But what if there's no safe way out? If you can't run, the next best thing is to hide. Turn out the lights and close any blinds and remain very quiet. If you can, barricade the door and try to secure your hiding place as best as you can. Learn to mute both the ringer and the vibrator on your phone. If you can't mute both, turn off your phone. You're trying to look as though you're not there. You probably won't have long to wait. Police are trained to respond as soon as possible. Hide behind large objects that might protect you. Ensure that anyone entering the room is a police officer. We're on our way in. Our first priority is to locate the suspect and stop the threat. If you encounter first responders, stay calm and follow instructions. Remember, we're here to stop the threat and make everyone safe. That means they will likely need to bypass injured persons until it's safe to begin rescue and medical aid. We need help over here. It'll be all right. More help is on the way. Put down anything you may have in your hands, phones, purses, whatever. Keep your hands visible. Do not yell, run, or point at officers. And it's a good idea to slowly raise your hands and spread your fingers. Then answer questions oh, as calmly and concisely you as you can. You went that way. Worst case scenario, there wasn't an option to safely escape and you've been discovered. Do do? But don't panic. There's still something you can do. They don't open. There's nowhere to go. 
as a last resort, your best chance for survival is to literally fight for your life. Grab something. Fight. Use improvised weapons, scissors, furniture, keys. Remember, you have every right to defend yourself. Act with aggression. Commit to taking the assailant down no matter what. Five one the building has now been completely cleared. No other suspects located. Copy, five one. And efforts to care for victims are still underway. There are just three things you need to remember when the worst happens. Number one, run. Leave your belongings behind and get clear of any danger. Know your environment. Always have an exit plan. Where are the exits? Are there multiple routes to them? Call 911 when you're safe. If there's no safe way to an exit, number two, hide. Lock and barricade the door. Turn off the lights, close the blinds, and get out of sight. Be very quiet. Silence your phone, including vibrate mode. Collect improvised weapons and make a plan of attack as silently as you can. If there's no place to hide or if you're discovered, number three, fight. Use improvised weapons. Incapacitate the assailant. Commit to and use physical aggression. You have every right to defend yourself. Police are assisting fire and ambulance with extracting injured persons. Copy that. Remember to continually assess the situation and pursue your best option for survival. The scene is secure. Develop a realistic safety plan. Practice the plan and evaluate its performance. Create a crisis response package for first responders just off-site. It should contain at least building maps, an up-to-date employee roster, keys, pass cards, floor plans, and important contact numbers. Know your environment and all exits. Have all units in outer perimeter maintain their positions for now. As per incident command, we'll be resuming regular operations on this channel. Escape if you can, hide if you can't, fight if you must.